Hi, I'm Colton Hope. I'm a sophomore at Roscoe Collegiate ISD. I'm here to inform you about snowboarding, about control, awareness, and balance. Uh, the equipment for snowboarding is gloves, obviously, because you don't want your hands getting numb or froze, frostbite. Uh, boots to keep your uh, feet from getting cool or cold, and it'll protect you from the latches on the snowboards. Uh, a heavy jacket. Uh, you can wear a light jacket and then a heavy jacket over your light jacket, but the heavy jacket is probably the most important thing of all. Uh, snow goggles to keep the snow from getting your eyes when you're going down a blue or a green or a possibly a black diamond. Um, a beanie is optional. Uh, some a lot of times people wear hoodies or uh, yeah hoodies and snow pants which are heavy duty snow pants. Uh, they're like made this out of the same material as a heavy jacket. It's just pants. But yeah, that's the equipment for snowboarding. <coughs> um, there's three types of slopes. There's a green, there's a blue, and there's a black diamond. Uh, green being the easiest, and blue being intermediate, and black diamond being the hardest. A green is sometimes a flat surface, but has a little slope to it. A blue has a slope, uh, just going like at a 45 degree angle. And black, di black diamonds mostly are just straight down. Mainly built for skiers, but good snowboarders know how to go black down black diamonds. Uh, yeah, that's the slopes. <clears throat> Picking a spot. You want to start on a green first, especially if you're a beginner. Um, and just practice how you get up and you start to go down a slope. Um, and to practice getting on your snowboard as you <coughs> and you want to uh, push up with your uh, hands and just like that and then a lot of times people don't strap their back foot so they can walk around in it they just push off if it was a snowboard it'd be easier to push off with but um, and then as you're going down, you want to stay in, stay in control of your board. You don't want to just stay still. If you stay still, you'll try to tend to lean. It'll like make you lean, but momentum will. And and that's how you start off in finding a spot. Uh, I basically just explained to you what starting off was like. Uh, practice turns. When you turn, you want to uh, push your feet one way, but lean the opposite way, so that way you're not, so that way the, uh, the momentum on each side is balanced. So that way, if you're trying to go that way, you want to lean that way and push your feet outwards. Like, like doing, uh, like, if you go on your tippy toes, kind of, and the, your board will start to lean on one side, and then same for the opposite way, you'll lean backwards and push your feet that way. Like, lean like this. And that's, that's pretty much how you turn. You can practice on green runs or sometimes blue, blue runs if you get better at it and turning. That's about it. Uh, getting on a lift. Before you ever get on a lift, you want to have one foot strapped in and one foot out. And just like how I mentioned earlier about pushing off with that one foot. And just because there will be people standing there and like there's a line and then the lift will come pick you up as you get on the lift. And then getting off the lift is probably the most uh, difficult, difficult, difficult part about getting off of it. Is it's especially when there's a person with you, um, and because you you have to know what uh, he's doing and like how which way he's going and which way you're going. So you have to like. I guess can communication before you get off the lift, and that's about it. Getting on a lift. <clears throat> uh, my conclusion. Um, my conclusion is uh, what I just stated all throughout the PowerPoint: uh, awareness, knowing what's going around you, control, 
uh, controlling your speed and your um, momentum and balance is staying on the snowboard once you start off. Um, that's really good. Any questions? What are some past experiences you have with snowboarding? Uh, past experiences? Um, I fell a lot when I first started. After the first day, butt's gonna be sore. Um, I've had some where I I hit an old guy. I was going down a blue, and he was he wasn't really moving. He was standing there, and I I wasn't really good at braking. Um, I tried to brake, but I, when I braked, I kept sliding. I, I slid right into him once I braked. Kept going like the, the momentum kept me going into him. So. What's the difference in the blue, black, and green? Uh, a green is the easiest slope, which is, it could be flat, or it could have a little slope to it, but mainly flat. Uh, a blue has, it's always a slope, about 45 degrees. Um, a black is the hardest slope to go down on. It's sometimes just straight down, like it's just a drop, mainly for skiers, but good snowboarders know, know how to do that. I was, I was nervous, especially on the greens, because I was, I was scared that I was going to hit people, people were going to hit me, I was just scared of, like, injuries. What are some tips you can give to the gators? Tips, uh, tips I would say to practice, just, not, not even on the snow, just like, if you're at home, you're bored, you can just get a board like this, and just practice your turns, like, your leans, you could, um, uh, just practice like bouncing on one foot, and on one on on each foot, um, and at, you can work out basically doing like uh, leg workouts, or squats. Just just help like stuff. You're more controlled in your legs. You have more power to do more stuff. <clears throat> more questions? Uh, Any more questions? How do you break? Um, According to Ski Judge, they talked about uh, turning, which they also talked about braking. It's similar, but you turn all the way around like a 180, and when you turn, or yeah, when you turn all the way around, you'll lean forward and push your feet back. That's one way. Another way is leaning back and like getting on your heel and then pushing your feet that way. So like opposite, so that way it balances out when you stop. What are some ways you can control your momentum to do a proper turn? Um, according to Van Drigo, um, they talked about uh, like practices to like practice for that, like bouncing on one foot and like doing leg workouts. Um, they talked about all types of workouts and practices to for momentum. <clears throat>